There are some things we wait our whole life to experience. And oftentimes, because we built them up so much, they just don't live up to our expectations. This is not one of those experiences. Today's the day I've been waiting for for years now. Got my hat, got my wetsuit. I am ready to go and swim with the whale sharks. My name is Kenneth Johnson. I work for EcoCollis. We have been doing ecotourism and adventure tours for 21 years. We have the biggest and largest population of whale sharks in the world. Literally, there are days where we can see more than 100 whale sharks, and this is just amazing. As Kenneth said, from May to September every year, Mexico's Caribbean coast becomes one of the best places in the world to swim with these giant fish. Just got told to gear up because we've got some right up here. Just arrived where all the other boats are. The hunt is on. Right now we're scouring the waters for any kind of fins or tails or big mouths sticking out. Okay, okay that probably doesn't happen. You have to be ready as soon as you arrive on the scene. Because when the captain says go, you better hit the water swimming. It's really like a well choreographed dance with all the boats and all the people in the water and the little moves that we do to drop in front and then they avoid and go under the boats and then they scrape us off and then someone else jumps in and it's quite fun. Time to go back in, time to switch cameras. Only two people at a time can enter the water with the guide. Everyone is set up on a rotation and gets at least two opportunities. Your turn will typically last as long as you can keep up. Marcella, I've been wanting to ask you, if we all get seasick and we throw up in the water, will they just follow us back? Will they eat no, that? No, they would say, I don't like burritos. You should eat healthy. <laughs> they don't like Mexican food. I like food. plankton. We work with local NGOs that are doing research and conservation projects with the whale sharks, so we contribute with them. People, by participating and coming to the tour, they're helping us on that environmental component. You need to make sure that the company that you select have trained guides, trained captains. When you find a guide that's concerned on the environment and a captain that's also trying to promote and adopt good environmental practices all contributes to the enjoyment of the trip and to having a sustainable tour. I can't say enough how incredible the experience is to go out into the wild and jump into the water with these incredible creatures, these just gentle giants, and you're in their world just sharing it for a minute or two for as long as you can swim and keep up with them. It's it's indescribable. It makes me feel really good about it too, um, seeing all the boats and all the people and knowing just how chaotic it could be. But because of all the regulations the government's recently put in place, and thanks to companies like EcoColors Tours, who really stress the environmental aspect of the tour, um, they really create a safe environment not only for us, but for the fish as well. But now the adventure is winding down. We are at Isla Mujeres off the beautiful coastline, about to have some ceviche for lunch, so I've gotta go. Until next time, guys, come visit, come swim with the whale sharks.